So we have computed homology groups in the ring of integers. So we have all always talked about torus homology, RP2 homology in integers. Now the question arises, what if we want to consider some other group? For example, say Z2. Yeah, Z2 is a field and it is extremely important. And we want to have a quick way to compute in uh, different groups. So for that purpose, we need the following theorem, which is called the universal coefficient theorem for homology. And uh, we will not go into the nut and bolts of the theorem, but try to treat it as a black box so that we can do calculations really fast. So for any abelian group G, there are exact sequences. So first you have the homology group, which you computed in integers. You tensor it with group G. And then you get the group, the homology group you wanted to compute in, say G is Z2. So you get homology group in Z2 instead of Z. And the third term is the TOR group. Yeah, so TOR is essentially a functor and uh, on this slide we will not go into the details of what TOR is. We will just write down the properties of TOR and the properties of tensor product. So you do not even need to know what a tensor product is and what TOR is. So we will just provide the black box here so that it is easy to compute. So the above sequence splits as follows. So this is the group we want to compute. We want to compute the homology group hk with coefficients in g so as i told you before we had computed torus etc in integers and now from integers we want to go to some other group g so the first term is hk x comma z tensor with g so we have computed this first term hk s x comma g uh, hk x comma z tensor g so the first part of it we have computed in the TOR term, we have computed the HK minus 1 term. So this will be clear in, in an example on the next slide. But let us write down the properties of tensor product which will be used throughout this uh, course. So the first one we will use is this. Z tensor with G gives you G. So the one which will we use the most is Z tensor with Z2 will give you Z2. The second is Zm tensor with Zn will give you Zd where D is the greatest common divisor of M and N. Then we will write the properties of TOR. Now again we are not defining even what a TOR is but just the properties which will help us compute. So the first one is Tor of A comma B is equal to Tor of B comma A. So it's important consequences Tor of 0 comma B is 0. Yeah, so remember this Tor of 0 comma B is 0. So Tor of this is also 0. third tor of Zm so Zn comma Zm is Zd where again D is the greatest common divisor now what if the group is a field yeah so if it is a field for the group operations we take addition as the group operation so we will treat these fields as groups and the operation we will take is addition so in that case the tor of a comma g is 0 
so this is what which makes uh, rational homology theories easy yeah this is zero so this is this makes life very easy so in case g is rational numbers real numbers or complex numbers the computation of homology group in any with coefficients in any group g just reduced to tensoring what we have calculated in integers and tensoring it with the group g so what are the other properties of tor So if you take direct sum in the first factor, this direct sum filters out. And if you take direct sum in the second factor, it also filters out just like in the first case. So these are in principle all the things we will need to compute in other groups and uh, a relevant example is uh, of a projective plane which we will cover soon in the next slide so let us talk about the most important example which will be referenced in cohomology multiple times so what is the homology group of rpn with coefficients in z2 notice that we have already calculated this in integers so we are claiming it as z2 in dimensions 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all the way till n so what did we compute before this is what we computed before yeah this is the group we computed before and what was it this was integers for i equals to 0 in dimension 0 and in dimension n if n is odd. So we know that if n was even this group was 0 but obviously in dimension 0 it is integers. So it was z2 if i was odd and i was between 0 and n. and in all other cases it is 0 so let us write down the formula we have so to calculate the ith homology group with coefficient in z2 this is what we need yeah so this x is nothing but rpn so wherever there is x it is rpn i am just writing x uh, for no particular reason okay so let us go about it case 1 i is equal to 0 or i equals to n where n is odd So the first case we get is z tensor with z2 which will give us z2 yeah this is from the tensor product property we mentioned on the previous slide so this entire thing becomes z2 what about the tor product for i is equal to 0 h minus 1 does not exist so the tor is 0 so yeah h i minus 1 becomes h minus 1 it does not exist so you put a 0 what about i equals to n when i equals to n i minus 1 is even because n is odd for even we have seen that h i minus 1 is 0 as you can see above 
we have only z2 for i odd and we have for 0 and n. So for even place we get tor 0 comma z2 which is 0. What if i is odd? So again this will be z2 tensor with z2. This will give us z2 greatest com common divisor of 2 and 2 is 2. Then we have to talk about the torsion product. Now since i is odd, i minus 1 is even and since as in the previous case we know that for even dimensions we do not have anything. We have h i r p and comma z is 0 for even. Yeah, so for even the homology group in calculated in integers is 0. So you get 0 here and in the first part you get z2. Third case is i is even. Now if i is even we know first part is h i x comma z is 0 because for even dimension nothing is there it is 0 as we have computed before and we not want to talk about torsion of the other part. Now since i is even that means i minus 1 is odd. So now we will have non-zero h i minus 1 because i minus 1 is odd. So we have torsion of or tor, tor of I should not say torsion but tor of z2 yeah z, z comma z2 which is z2. So this is it. We have z2 here, 0 here, z2 here, 0 the other part. First part is 0, second part is z2 and that shows us the, gives us the required result we wanted to prove. Obviously for dimension n and higher the homology group h i is 0 and uh, then i minus 1 is also 0 and uh, you are done. And that is the end of the story.